So I did these bee nails, a little bumblebee stripe, and this one says, oh, honey. <laughs> and then I did the bees. Oh, something's on that one. I did the bees on the honeycomb here, and then little bees here with the honey dripping down. And then this is just a bunch of bees over here. So that's what we're going to be doing for these. Now, my nails are already mounted, and I have buffed them down. So they are all, woo, they are all prepared, <laughs> all prepared to be done. Now, the polishes that I'm going to be using are all from Maniology. So this color is called Heart of Gold. This one is just the regular straight up black. And this one is Bam White. My phone cut off. But anyway, I did mine with like a pearl type color. Well, these, I want it to be more pronounced. So that's why I'm just going to be using these straight up white for these. But as far as painting them with the solid colors, I'm just going to be using the gold and black. So let's just go ahead and open this up. I know my thumb here. Let's see. I'm just going to kind of alternate as to which ones I paint the gold and which ones I paint black. Most will probably be gold. Some will be black. And the way that I paint mine is you see how I kind of like start in the middle and then go down to the middle and go to the side, middle and go to the side. If you don't do that, then you run the risk of the polish building up underneath the free edge of the nail. And that doesn't look very good. So I'm just going to continue painting these. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna put on a second coat. This polish is very opaque, but I like to make darn sure that I have nice coats of polish on the nails. So I'm gonna work on this and come back. Alrighty, so everything has dried here and now, and I know this light is very bright, but I'm using the Maniology Plate M093, see? And I'm gonna use this honeycomb design right here. So let's see, I wanted to do that, like I said, with white. So let's get one of these things. So you can see on my nails how I stamped the design where like, uh, I've got paint on me. Or like if you're looking at it like this, you can see the design, cause you know, I'm working on camera and I have it that way so that everyone can see it. But when I'm making them to sell or making them to give away, I wanna turn it to where I stamp the design where it can be seen like here's the tip of the nail that's facing outward and this will be the part that's up against your cuticle. You want it facing this way so that you know when you're doing things and people are looking at you, they can see the design on your nail and it's not upside down. So you need your scraper card. You need your stamping polish. I'm using this white stamping polish from Maniology, of course. I said a while ago. Now I just took some packing tape here and you know how you roll it and make a roll so that the sticky is on the outside. I'm going to stick that to my table, and now I believe I've got everything. So like I said, let's go with this, this honeycomb design here. Just, get, just swipe it across, and you want to work fairly quickly. Take your scraper card, scrape it down, make sure I get all the lint off my stamper here, and just pounce like so. There's your design. All right, so let's get this straight. And just kind of decide where we want it on this nail. Right there looks good. I'm just gonna press it down, rock it a little bit. And there is your honeycomb design. Now, the reason I roll that tape up is I take my stamper and just kind of pounce it on top of the tape and it pulls all of the little pieces of the polish off. So let's see, I had a paper towel, hold on. So I'm just going to wipe my scraper card on that paper towel there. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for just a second, and then I wanna stamp some little bees, and the bees are gonna be black. Oops, I knocked it over. I'm not selling this set. <laughs> I'm just doing it for the sake of the video. So you get a cotton ball in my um, acetone here, and thoroughly clean your plate between stampings. If you don't, then your polish gets down in the design and it dries, and it just does not give you a clean design when you go to pick it up, okay? So now you're just gonna let that dry. Sometimes I just <laughs> use the tail end of my shirt to wipe it. Now as you can see right here, we're gonna be using this little bee guy right here. And that's going to be black. So let's get everything ready. I'm just going to swipe just right there on that little bee. And then we're just gonna swipe up so that we don't get it all over the rest of the card and just pounce. And there's the bee. Now you see these little pieces here. What I do is I just take a piece of tape 
and you can just pounce like that and it takes it right off. Weak. Oh, there's a little bit right there. So get that and get that. There we go. Just stick that down to the table. Now, here is this nail. Just kind of decide where you want it to be. <laughs> where you want it to be. <laughs> and just stamp it on there and there is your bee on top of the honeycomb. How cute is that? And I squished my stamper a little bit. Uh, cotton ball, cotton ball. And then you just clean your plate. Like I said, clean it. Ooh, a hair. Clean it between. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm not at my little nail station. I'm trying to do this on my craft table where my camera is. It's much easier when I'm over there at my little nail thing. But then I need another phone holder so that I can film over there. All right, so now let's wipe that off and then I'm gonna stamp a few more bees onto that nail. All right, so there's our little bee nail. How cute is that? So let's stick that back on our little stand here. Now let's get this black one here and I want to stamp some more bees, but this time let's do it gold. So once again, this is heart of gold. Ooh, I didn't clean off my scraper card. Let's get that out of the way. Move, heathen. All right. So now let's just do a few little gold bees. Pink, pink, pink. You want to try to be kind of quick doing it that way. When you paint it on, just try to be kind of quick picking it up. You don't want it to dry on your plate. Now let's take this tape here. Just get off that little bit right there. Okay, let's see, let's put him, kind of angle it right there. And there we go, little gold bee. <laughs> this plate is really, really cute. I mean, I have been eyeing it and I wanted it and wanted it and wanted it and I finally got it and I'm super happy to have it. As you can see, I did, <laughs> I just kind of like went crazy with it. So let's see, let's pick up another little bee friend here. Swipe so like that. And doink. See, you got just a little bit there. You could take your nail and scrape it away if you want to. Um, sometimes I use a Q-tip and just wipe it off. Or you know, like this sticky tack stuff that I use to stick the nails to the stem. If you watch my previous videos, you know what I use. Um, I just kind of stick that on the end of a dotting tool. Camera cut off. I apologize. Um, you know, we're having some bad weather, so the power flickers every now and again. But what I was saying is sometimes I take a dotting tool and just put like a little blob of this sticky tech stuff on it. And then you can just take that and also wipe the extra polish off of your stamper. All right, so I'm going to put a couple more bees on here. There's all of our little golden bees on the black nail. So let's go on and go to this part here. So this here, you can see these like little, little stripes. So I'm just going to put the polish there. And I'll be careful with this because you can see there's like a lot of open space. So you want to make sure that you get the polish in those spaces. And then slightly pounce like so. Now, some people say, well, I can't get the whole design to pick up. That could be because you're pressing it down on there when you're trying to set. You just want to pounce it, okay? Just lightly, not like a tigger pounce. <laughs> just lightly pounce it on there. You know, let's just clean up the edges just in case I bump it on the nail. I don't want to screw anything up. Okay, so now let's go with this gold one here once again and try to see where I want it. Boink, right there. Just like so. How cute is that? So let's clean this off again and find us another design. All right, so let's go to this black nail because it's black, let's use the gold polish and this right here. This honeycomb looks like with a little bit of honey dripping down. Let's use that one. Get my stamper and my card. Just paint your polish there, scrape and scrape and bounce. And there's our design. Let's just clean that up. Okay. Oh, I better clean up a little bit of that maniology. <laughs> logo at the bottom. We don't want that on there. Okay. So now I'm going to go across the top of the nail. That would be the actual cuticle side up here. Let's see. I want that. 
And there we are with our golden honeycomb. How pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, words can be tricky when you're stamping, especially if you're really pressing your stamper down onto it. But like I said, just lightly pounce. And you shouldn't have any problems with picking up the words. And also, when you're stamping words and letters onto the nail, be very careful when you're putting it on there and just kind of peel your stamper off very gently. Because sometimes if you just put it on the nail and then pull your stamper right back off, it will pull the lettering up with it. Okay, so that's uh, that's something to look out for. Have I done any stamps before with lettering on video? I can't remember if I have or not. I don't think I have. Boink. See, and there's the word. So let's get our tape and clean that up. And no, I'm not going to stamp all of the nails that I have, <laughs> like the ones over there. I'm not going to stamp all the ones that I have prepared. Just doing this to kind of like give you an idea of, you know, what all you can accomplish and do with this plate. It's, uh, it's got so many like tiny little elements, you know, you can really, really layer it. So let's see where I want this. Like I said, I'm pressing it down on there. It's kind of gently rocking it. And then we're going to just gently pull that off. Like I said, you don't want any of your lettering to lift. And there, that came out really well. So that's one of the pains about stepping with the letters is you pull it up and you're like, ah. All right, let's clean this up. Okay, I believe what I'm gonna do next. Okay, you see like this little, this little bit of comb right here? I believe I'm going to use that and then we'll go across the top of that nail with that just to fill in that top part a little bit, you know? Because it's a little open and empty, okay? Once again, take your tape and just clean it up. Just put this right across the top. And because this one's a delicate little design too, let's just gently pull it off. And there you go. <laughs> How cute is that? That is adorable. Let's put that there and just kind of take a look and see what all we have with this plate so far. I think it's pretty cute. So now you're gonna let that dry for a few minutes and then you're gonna use a no smudge top coat. Why do you wanna use a no smudge top coat? This is basic chemistry, like removes like. So if you use a no smudge top, no smudge, no smudge top coat, it's sort of like more water-based and it will not dissolve the polish underneath it and it won't smear it. But anyway, this is the no smudge top coat from Maniology. And let's see, let's do this one first because this should be really well dry. And just like my color polish, I start in the center and then work my way out. And I'll have links done in the description box and pinned in the comments for you guys to where you can get all of the Maniology stuff. Now the trick with using top coat like this with your designs don't put it on very thick okay because then you're going to get all these tiny tiny little bubbles in it okay and it's not going to look good so you can see it looks so much better with the top coat on a lot of times people are stamping and they're like well this this looks terrible just get the top coat on it really brings it all together and it makes it look a heck of a lot better okay i'm telling you the top coat makes a difference Okay, so I'm just gonna top coat these and then we'll step back and take a look. There we go. See the difference the top coat makes. It just makes it look so much better. But yeah, that is the B plate from Maniology. Like I said, there's just so many different designs that you can do with this because of all the tiny little elements here. You could just layer them and just do all kinds of cool stuff. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this brief demonstration here. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on various forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.